Bracey, welcome to Nashville. You clearly have the athletic traits required to be a, an outstanding receiver, but what did the Titans talk to you about some of the things that they wanted to develop to really unlock that potential? You know, they, they want me to come in and, and really just learn the game and develop and just be a great receiver because they see the potential in me and they know I have the work that I need to be a great receiver. So that's what they're looking for for me to do when I get to the um, team. And when Christian Fulton was leaving LSU, he was asked who would be one of the next guys, the next stars there. He said, you, have you gotten to talk to him? I know it's, it's very sudden, but have you gotten to talk to him, uh, you know, since you've been selected? Uh, no, sir. You know, it just happened, but I'm pretty sure at the thing settled down, I'm going to call and chop it up with him. That was my roommate, you know, at LSU. So we, we closer than close, you know, so. Teresa. Racy, uh, you, you played special teams at LSU as well. Uh, as a young guy, uh, special teams could be a chance for you to get on the field really quickly. What is your uh, best abilities when you are on special teams? Uh, Gunner, uh, you've got some tackles to your credit as well, a forced fumble. What do you? What is your strength on special teams, sir? I feel like it's how I use my speed. You know, I had the size and I played with a physical edge to the game, but I, I know my speed is a big thing of me getting up and down the field and making those plays. Luke? Hey, Bracey, as a special teamer at LSU, how much did you work with, with Coach McMahon on perfecting your technique and, and integrating yourself into the special teams? Yeah, um, Coach McMahon, he gave me the opportunity. He really, he stayed on me, and I always asked him questions, and he always just gave me you know, point us on being a, a great special team because he's seen the potential I had and, and he always pushed me and he was, you know, the hardest on me at practice because he saw the potential. And I, um, I yeah, you were talking about working with Coach McMahon and him uh, pushing you in practice really hard. Just if you want to finish that answer, I don't, I'm not real sure. Yeah, what he, he was always pushing me hard and on me the hardest. If I made a mistake, he'll let me have it and just, I just know. That was just him wanting the best out of me because he's seen the potential I had. Ben Arthur. Hey, Racy, you obviously, you know, bring, you know, special teams value to the table. But what would you say is your biggest strength as a, a receiver at this point in your development? I know it had to be my speed, me getting up the field. So, you know, um, I have a lot of other things. I could always get better at it, but my strong suit is definitely going to be speed. Racy, do we – oh, there you go. Okay. Your, uh, your picture cut out. Um, Tatum? Hey, Racy. Uh, fellow LSU alum here, but I wanted to say welcome to Nashville. And um, when you spoke to the Titans at the Senior Bowl, what were some of your conversations like? And did you have a feeling that this could be a landing place for you? Um, I really, I did because we had a conversation and it wasn't even about football, to be honest. It was just, you know, just a genuine conversation, them getting to know me. And I felt like this was a place that I could have ended up in. I just appreciate the organization for um, choosing me, really. And I'm just going to give them my all. Lennon? Hi, Racy. Um you mentioned earlier that the Titans want you to come in and kind of develop um, as, a, as a receiver. What do you think um, that you need to do? How, how will that uh, happen, that you become a, a better receiver and develop? Yeah, I know me becoming a better receiver is just me getting in and out of my routes, you know, just making every route look the same. Once um, I get that down to a T, you know, the sky's the limit from there. Thank you. Just a couple more for you, Racy. Uh, Ron. Looking at some of your fellow receivers there at LSU, they were able to, you know, ascend to really good players. You have the, the potential to do that. What would you say, you know, kind of got in the way or, or kept you from being able to have the same production as the other guys? Um, to be honest, those guys, they're just, they're just great players. Um, they were just kind of ahead of me. And, you know, I learned from those guys and we always competed at the end of the day. So, you know, I couldn't see. I didn't work hard or anything like that. I didn't know what I was doing, but it was just something that happened. But I know I feel like everything happens for a reason. And 
just ready for the next step. Last question for you, Terry. Tracy, uh, you were off to a pretty decent start last year, then got derailed by the hamstring injury. Uh, what was it like trying to uh, go through that and, and making your way back from it? I know they eventually shut you down because of that. Yeah. Um, after the tear of my hamstring, it, it held me back. But, you know, thanks to LSU and, you know, my age, we got back and just straightened up the hamstring so I could just have a, a great pro day. And the, the hamstring, it was just a, a minor setback for me to come back. You know, I just feel like the hamstring is stronger now that those kind of things, you know, happen.